Welcome to our guide on text optimization for Google Play. If you're publishing an Android app, getting it noticed isn't just about design or features. It's about how users can actually discover your app. That's where ASO, App Store Optimization, comes in. And today, we're focusing on the text side of ASO for Google Play. Text optimization means placing the right keywords in the right spots so users can easily find your app. It's not about writing beautiful texts, it's about writing searchable ones. In the previous videos, we covered how to effectively search for keywords and went into detail about text optimization in the App Store. But how does Google Play differ? Well, while both platforms care about keywords, Google Play indexes everything you write, title, short description, full description. In contrast, the App Store uses a separate keyword field, and the description doesn't affect search at all. So on Google Play, every word matters, and the structure and keyword density of your text play a huge role in visibility. You'll learn how to create effective metadata, avoid common mistakes, and find the balance between clarity and keyword strategy. We'll even create real keyword examples, so you can see how it works in practice. Before we jump into writing, let's take a quick look at what Google Play actually indexes and what matters most for visibility. Take a look at this screen. Here you can see the key text elements that influence your app's ranking in search results. Three of them are the most important for text optimization. The title, the short description, and the full description. Why? Because these fields are directly indexed by Google Play, and they're your chance to tell both the algorithm and your users what your app is really about. Now let's take a closer look at each of these fields, how they work, and how to write them in a way that improves your app's visibility in Google Play Search. Title, this is the name of your app. It has the strongest impact on search ranking. Use your main keyword here, but keep it short and clear. You only have 30 characters, so every word matters. Short description. This is the first thing users see when they open your app page. It should grab attention, include a clear call to action, and contain relevant search queries. The limit is 80 characters, so use them wisely. Full description. This is where you explain what your app does and why it's useful. Google indexes this text too, so don't forget to include your main keywords. Just don't overdo it. No more than one keyword per 250 characters to avoid keyword stuffing. The optimal length? Around 2,500 characters. Now that you know which text fields are indexed and how they work, let's see how to create optimized texts for Google Play, step-by-step -step using ASO Mobile tools. Don't worry, we won't make you write it all in Notepad. We've got tools for that. It's fast, simple, and works great even if you're just starting out. Plus, use my promo code FIRSTTRY to get 30% off your first purchase. You'll find the link and the code in the description below. Ready? Let's build your perfect text set for Google Play. Tutorial Script Creating Text Optimization for Android Apps with Mobile. Today, I'll show you how to create powerful text optimization for your Android app using ASO Mobile. I'll walk you through how to craft metadata using ASO tools. This can save you a lot of time. But keep in mind, the same principles can be used even if you're working in a simple spreadsheet. I'll be using ASO Mobile in this tutorial. The link is in the description. You can try doing ASO for free during the trial period. And if you find it useful, feel free to use my promo code First try for a 30% discount. To begin working on your metadata, go to the ASO Creator tool. On the left, you'll see a list of keywords you added earlier. We already discussed how to research and select keywords in the first video. It includes a step-by-step -step guide with practice. The link is also in the description. You can sort the keywords by traffic or rank, depending on your strategy. On the right, you'll see the three fields we'll be working on for Google Play. Title short description, and full description. Let's start with the title. This should include your strongest keywords. You can also optionally include your brand name. Keep in mind, the character limit is only 30. Since this is the most important field, choose your keywords carefully. Click on any keyword on the left to copy it. 
then paste it into the title field to create a relevant and readable app title. It should also be appealing as users will see it in search results. Once a keyword is used in any of the fields on the right, it will be highlighted in the list on the left. You'll also notice a progress bar that shows how many characters you've used. Super helpful when aiming for precision. Just below the title and short description fields, you'll find the current version of your app from the store, so you can easily compare it with the new version you're working on. Each field also has a small light bulb icon. Click it to see useful tips and best practices. Once your title is done, move on to the short description. Your goal here is to describe the app clearly and briefly while including a few strong keywords. As you work, you'll see a progress bar tracking how many of your keywords have been used and how much traffic they carry. Your goal is to make your metadata as effective as possible. Now, let's talk about the full description, which has a 4,000 character limit. Use it to include as many relevant keywords as possible. Remember, unlike the App Store, Google Play requires keyword repetition. You'll need to insert your keywords naturally throughout the description. Make sure it's structured and easy to read and repeat your key terms a few times, especially in the first paragraph, which holds the most weight in indexing. Avoid keyword stuffing. That's when you repeat words too often just to manipulate rankings. Google doesn't like that and may actually lower your app's visibility. Ideally, don't repeat a keyword more than 3%. When your description is ready, you can check it for keyword stuffing. Just click the button below the text. If there's overuse, the tool will show you which keywords need to be reduced. To make sure you don't miss any keywords, go to the Unique Words tab. This section breaks down your keyword list into single and repeated words. It's an easy way to spot and include any keywords you've missed. In the keyword list, you'll also find the option to check for exact match usage. This means using the keyword in the exact same form, number, and order as it's written. It's believed that this helps with indexing when the keyword is matched exactly as users type it. When a keyword is used in an exact match, it's marked with a check mark. Make sure to include a few important keywords in exact match form. Sounds a bit complicated? Don't worry. This is where the AI generation feature can help. Just enter a few key points. Start by briefly describing your app's core features. You can also add your app's brand name, optional, and include your target audience if you like, optional. The more details you provide, the better the result. Click Write Metadata with AI, and within seconds, all three fields will be filled with strong, keyword-rich content. Once your metadata is ready, double-check your keyword list on the left. If something is missing, feel free to add it manually. Then just copy your metadata and paste it into the Google Play Console. If needed, you can also download your metadata as a file for future use. After that, it's time to wait for indexing. Quick overview of the ASO dashboard. To track your optimization results, head over to the ASO dashboard. This tool helps you quickly monitor new indexing, ranking changes, and overall visibility growth. Check if your search visibility has changed. If everything was done correctly, this number should go up. Just keep in mind that indexing on Google takes longer than in the App Store. It's not a matter of a couple of days. So be patient and check back daily. One of the most important metrics is the number of indexed keywords. That's how many search terms your app appears for. This is what we're focusing on in the early stages. If you want to see exactly which keywords are indexed, open the App Keywords section. You'll also see how many keywords improved, dropped, or are newly indexed. In the Keywords Distribution section, you can monitor daily changes in indexed keywords. This graph is super useful to track visibility trends and see how your ASO changes are impacting search performance. Steady growth means your app is becoming more visible, and that's exactly what we want. There are also other helpful charts and tools to compare data with competitors, but we'll cover those in another video. I hope you found this guide helpful. Just a reminder, ASO Mobile offers a free trial, so feel free to test the tools by following along with my tutorial. And don't forget to use my promo code FIRSTRY. All the links are in the description. So now we've created a set of optimized keywords and texts for Google Play. It's not just copywriting, it's strategy. 
Every word counts, especially when Google's the one counting. If you found this helpful, give us a like and subscribe for more ASO tips. Thanks for watching, and remember, text optimization is the foundation of app growth on Google Play. See you in the next video.